Hi folks, this is Jay, hope you're okay today. I just want to talk to the young atheist out there. I've noticed, um, it just dawned on me the other day when Live Life and Negation brought out this video uh, critiquing uh, presuppositional apologetics. Uh, and it was saying, like, this is how you can respond to the presuppositional apologetics. And, like, it was give, trying to give, uh, it, it, it didn't work, but it was trying to give atheist um, uh, some resources to critique presuppositional apologetics. Uh, but what it what dawned on me is that it seems to me there's a lot of young people uh, in the atheist camp, and basically the atheist community, the atheist uh, pseudo intellectuals uh, on the blogosphere, are trying to keep you indoctrinated, they're trying to give you um, arguments and, and methodologies to defeat Christian apologists, but why would they do that? I mean, why why spend so much energy doing that? The energy being put in is so that you are kept in line, so that they are continually feeding your brain so that you're continually indoctrinated with their methodologies so then you are inoculated from listening to Christian apologies and the question is this who are you going to do who, 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 who are you going to believe yourself or the Christian apologist or the atheist uh, apologies in other words you should do your own thinking okay you don't need some uh, up and coming atheist YouTuber who thinks they're a hot shot, who, who really deep down wants to be the leader. I mean, live life in negation of peace, secretly want to be like one of the main leaders in atheism. You don't, you don't need that. You need to do your own thinking. And you do your own thinking by doing your own research and your own reading. Okay? Yeah, you can learn from these atheists who are pumping out this stuff. But if you just take it on board and critically and say, oh yeah, they're right, um, they're one of us and, and they're right, then you're just going to be like in a cult, you're just going to be indoctrinated. And it's the same if a Christian apologist comes along and they pump out stuff and you just take that on board without thinking about it properly, then that, that's cultish and, and, uh, and, and it's not good. What I'm, what I'm encouraging you to do as a young atheist <coughs> is get beyond the blogosphere. Get beyond what the blogosphere, the Christian apologist on blogosphere, or the atheist uh, uh, propagators of atheism on blogosphere. To get beyond that, when you're hearing all this uh, apologetics, counter apologetics, all the videos that are coming out and stuff like that, to to just um, just say, wait a minute. I, 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 I want to do my own thinking. I don't want to be brainwashed by the Christians or even the atheists. You know, I want to do my own thinking. And, okay, on this, like, for example, presuppositional apologetics, I've got Jay saying this, I've got Live Life saying that, but where did this apologetics come from? It came from Van Til. Okay, I'll go and study Van Til. I'll go and research him myself. I'll go and look into it myself and, and see what he has to say. And that's how you do it. You do your own research. You do your own thinking. And then you say, well, okay, I've had a look at Van Til. What, what other philosophers touch on this subject? So you could have, you're going to have a look at um, uh, John McDowell. I've got some books there. Or some other philosopher. And see what they are saying on the various topics that Van Til said. And so you're doing your own research, your own thinking. And then you can weigh up what the Christians are saying. You weigh up what the atheists are saying. But if you're just sat there like and uh, saying, oh yeah, uh, Live Life's brought a really good video out whacking the Christian uh, presuppositional. Yeah, it's really cool, man. And it's got some really good things. And oh yeah, uh, Coffee with Claire did a really good uh, video critiquing them creators. Oh yeah. Well, that's not... that. You're just in a cult and you've been on, indoctrinated. You need to say, wait a minute, what's the primary source in this subject I'm going to study that always go back to the primary sources if the atheists are talking about Jesus in history and the Christians are talking about Jesus in history 
you go to the primary sources you go and have a look at what the primary sources are saying okay if people are talking about science scientific scientific issue go to the primary sources go and look at them the primary material that's involved in that scientific discussion uh, that's the best thing to do do your own thinking and, and and read the scholars on both sides and then come to a conclusion okay but please don't get don't be indoctrinated by the atheist community with all their videos and blogs for your stuff uh, and then just take it on board without critically thinking I mean that's what we that's what we got to do is critically think uh, but how can you critically think if you just take it on board without thinking all right thanks for listening take care